In this video, I will share with you the top five best listing lead sources for real estate agents and exactly where you can find them so you can start dialing them today. Let's not waste any time hopping in the first lead and that is fresh expired leads. Now I'm differentiating this from all other expired leads because in my opinion, it's its, its own lead source. I use a completely different script for fresh expireds and it's a different dialogue for them as well. So fresh expireds are expired leads, so people who had their house on the market uh, and it didn't end up selling. And this is that lead source within the first 24 hours of their house coming off the market. This is what I classify as a fresh expired. Now, what is the advantage of a fresh expired? Well, it's the lowest hanging fruit uh, for our business. It's the easiest listing leads for you to get. So you can start getting, getting business right now, right away. When I was 18 years old and it was my first day in the business, my first month as a real estate agent, I was able to attain six listings. First three months, I got 18. So on average, I was getting about six listings a month. The vast majority of these were fresh expireds because I didn't have to worry about my sphere. I wasn't marketing, like putting all this time into marketing. I was just simply calling people who have a need to sell. That's a huge benefit of fresh expireds. They just had a need to sell. They just went through the whole process. They're comfortable with it. They're familiar with it and they still have that need to sell. The, the last agent just previously failed, and now you come in and you're gonna say exactly what you're gonna do differently, set the appointment so you can see the home. So fresh expires, that's the advantage. They're the lowest hanging fruit uh, in this business. Now the disadvantage of a fresh expired is every, re every realtor who prospects, and if you're a good realtor, you're gonna be prospecting, uh, every realtor who prospects is calling fresh expires. So how to get over that so you're not the 800th realtor that they've talked to for the day. You need to be ready on the phone with everything in order to prospect them right away at 8 a.m. So this is the way I've beat it out. I don't get those objections of you're the ninth realtor to call me this morning. You're the 800. Like, I don't, I don't deal with that because I'm calling them right away at 8, 8 a.m. Not 801, not 802. I mean, I'm waiting for that clock to turn to eight and I'm dialing them. Now, where can you find these lead sources? I get them from a, a service called Vulcan 7. There's probably there's three real main super houses for uh, listing leads and we're, we're gonna talk about them today. But the one I, I use is Vulcan 7. They have the highest quality data. I have a link in the description below where you can talk to the same people I talk to to get set up. Whether you use Vulcan, Mojo, Red X, however you wanna do it, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that you are prospecting fresh expires as a part of your business. Uh, I prospect these leads about 30 minutes a day, every single day, I get through all the fresh ones. There's on average about 14 to 20, depending on the market, if it's winter time, summertime, whatever it is, um, I get on average about 15 to 20, and I prospect all of them right away at 8 a.m. Again, this beats out all the other agents who are kind of slacking, rolling into the office at eight, whatever it may be. I beat out all those agents. And when you're the first person I talk to, 60% of the time, I think it's a stat where a fresh expired will actually relist with the first agent that they talk to. So you don't want to be the second or third or 900th realtor that they talk to. It's almost not a benefit. I don't prospect fresh expireds if if it's not right at 8 a.m. If I, for some reason, missed it or slept in or whatever it is, uh, it's not even worth prospecting them. Um, so again, fresh expireds, it's the first lead source, huge to add to your business, and that's what I prospect every day from 8 to 8.30. Now, second lead source we're gonna talk about is old expireds, very similar to fresh expireds. What I classify as an old expired lead is a seller who had their property listed either three months ago or sorry, expired out either three months ago to two, three years ago. That's the time block where I'm typically calling old expireds. Um, super high value listing lead source because most agents, like 98% of agents, just don't call old expireds. They only call the fresh expireds. And those are the most highly competitive ones. So old expires, the advantage is they are far less competitive than fresh expireds are. And the other advantage is now that some time has passed, say it's been a year, the market traditionally goes up. So that means their house value has gone up. So now you're automatically providing them value, being like, hey, great news, looked at your property, ran a, a CMA for you, you can actually get two to 3% more than what you were previously asking for. 
That's right away what you can say. And that's why the script is a little different than a fresh expired. Because you want to provide them value right away. If you've seen any of my other videos, always on providing value and that's how you win the business. Um, and again, any of my scripts are linked in the description below. So all the lead sources we, we talk about today, there's a script for it that I made and I use every single day. So old expireds, the advantage again being times past, so their value's gone up and they're far less competitive. Now the disadvantage is some of these leads, they might have already relisted and sold their home. That's just, is it is what it is. The people who you're really targeting are the ones who sometimes pass, they're a little discouraged, they got pissed off that so many agents called them in the beginning, but now you're coming in saying they could actually get potentially more for their house. Because again, traditionally the market goes up, uh, you can actually get more for your house and hey, let me just stop by and compare it to the ones that have recently sold for you so you have all the information. It's as simple as that. And the turnover on old expires, like the amount of times I listed when I talked to them, it's super high rate of return. So high high value leads, definitely recommend calling them. Uh, very similar fresh expires, just a little bit of a different wording there. The third lead source that you definitely have to talk about is for rent by owners. So many agents fail to see the value and the opportunity in a for rent by owner lead. What is a for rent by owner? It's a property owner who has their house listed for rent uh, by owner, by themselves on Zillow. Uh, this is it. I've talked about this lead source. It's how I got 18 listings in my first three months in the business. That and expires. Uh, they're the biggest lead source that I talk about to this day. And that's because the advantage in calling a for rent by owner is you're typically talking to an investors. Now investors buy and sell homes for a living. If you can work with a few investors, that can make your entire year. Because again, you're not out there prospecting a ton anymore. You have your few five to 10 investors that you work with that buy and sell homes for you consistently. So front buyers are the, the biggest lead source to call and the biggest lead source to really build a reputation with. Even if they're not business right right now, it's gonna be unmatchable business for you in the future. Because again, typically for rent by owners are, peop are investors. So they have anywhere from two to 27, 45 other properties. Uh, I talked to a guy first three months in the business, listed one of his houses, it went great. He gave me another six listings right away. So that's the, the value and the advantage you can get in front by owner. The other advantage is None, none of you guys are calling them. No realtors are calling them and it absolutely blows my mind. Uh, I don't think people know about them. I don't know what it is. I, I keep preaching it on my YouTube channel, but no one calls for rent by owners and I can't understand why. So you get the benefit of you're typically the first agent that they talk to. The disadvantage is if they're an investor, maybe they have a realtor that they've worked with. But if again, I always go back to this, if you can show your value and you can win over the listing, it's going to be life lifelong business for you. So highly recommend calling front owners. Now, where can you find these lead sources? I don't recommend uh, going on Zillow to find them because you're going to be talking to a lot of property management companies and that's not what you want. I again get these through Vulcan 7. We're going to go back to that. You need a listing uh, lead generator. So invest in yourself, subscribe to Vulcan 7, Mojo, Red X, whatever it is that you choose to go through, invest in yourself and do it. Uh, the pricing on it is, is it's pennies compared to the business that you get for it. You make hundreds of thousands of dollars like I have through paying a couple hundred dollars a month. I mean, it's it's stupid and unmatchable. One, one listing will get you the return on your money. If you're a real estate agent, you need to have a way where you're getting leads consistently funneled to you. And a service like that, it just, I wake up and it's there. So I'm not spending a bunch of time pulling numbers, anything like that, it's just there. Right when I wake up, so again, right at 8 a.m. when I'm calling my fresh expireds, I move onto the front burners and I get all the fresh ones of those. So front burners, you can call pretty much any time. There's no time limit, there aren't time sensitive leads. Um, doesn't matter if they're a day old, six months old, it doesn't matter. Uh, the fresher the better because you don't want them actually renting out their property now another benefit of these again like i said they're investors so they have multiple properties if an investor has a property that's listed for rent that means it's vacant now if it's vacant it means it's not bringing them income and it means they're paying a large amount in expenses mortgage taxes everything that isn't getting paid by the tenant 
So they do have kind of a need to sell an anxiety to either sell it or rent it. Now we just went through a cr crazy past couple of years. This is 2024. I say everybody knows about the 2020 housing market, how it just skyrocketed for two years. So if they bought their property anytime before that, their value is insane in the property. There's so much equity. So many people we talk to nowadays that we fail to realize have so much equity in their home. And it's a huge benefit to us if we can share them, share with them how much equity they actually have in their home. So front banners, it's just, it's an unmatched lead source, hands down the best one. These leads aren't in any order. If they were, front banners would be number one, without a doubt. I haven't found a lead source that's even comparable to them. Highly recommend, again, get Vulcan 7, Red X, Mojo. I, I don't care what it is. I use Vulcan 7. It doesn't matter. Just get one of those and call them. That's where I get all my leads from, and that's how you can start prospecting leads. And you don't, you know, you hear the realtors that sit around and say, I have nothing to do. Call, call leads. We'll talk about some free options later on this video, but um, definitely front partners, it will change your business in your life. The fourth listing lead source to talk about is for sale by owners. I love for sale by owners. Now, the advantage of a for sale by owner is they're free. They're free to call. So you don't need Vulcan 7, you don't need Red X Mojo, you don't need any of these services, even though I highly recommend uh, getting one of those. You don't need them. If you're trying to find a cost effective way to start calling right now after this video, for sale banners are the answer. What I do, I go on Zillow, I draw a radius around the map of an area that I'm willing to service, I'm willing to drive out to, typically about a 45 minute range for me. And you go to the tab where it says for sale by owner and you just call all of them. It's that simple. Now, people are scared to call, agents are scared to call for sale by owners and they're, they're tougher, they're tough lead sources to call. Uh, you have to have pretty good skills to call them, but anybody can get business from them. And I was day one in the business, I was still getting for sale by owner, for sale by owners to list with me. So you don't need to be highly, highly experienced. You, these are lead sources that you can start calling today. None of these lead sources, you need to be fully experienced two years in the business. You can be day one calling them and still get return on it for you. Um, the advantages of a for sale by owner is they have their hands raised up saying, I'm looking to sell my home. So it doesn't get any easier than that to find sellers who are looking to sell. It blows my mind when agents say, I can't find anybody who's looking to sell their home. It's on Zillow for free and their contact information's right there. Literally raising their hand saying, I wanna sell my home. It blows my mind. Uh, there's about a hundred in my market right now, depending on where you are, it might be more, it might be less, but for sale buyers are huge. I have an incredible script. I've gotten many, many compliments and I've helped agents across the country with my for sale by owner script. So check it out if you don't do anything else. It's again, free in the link in the description below. Um, his script is precisely analyzed to having empathy towards the seller, uh, the person trying to list their home. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to pay a fee. They don't want any of that. That's where agents get hung up on. If you follow the script, you'll see how I have empathy with them and I, I slowly step by step get through it to them. Uh, if you can net them more money, which typically I found that you, you typically can because, or you, I shouldn't say typically, you always can get them more money than they can on themselves. doesn't matter if they're vastly overpriced, it's never going to sell. So if you can explain that to them in a nice way, which the script helps you do, um, it's a complete game changer to your business. The disadvantage of them is again, they're, they're tougher. They, they pretty clearly stated that they don't want to list with a realtor by going for sale by owner. So you have to be very strategic and very skilled at showing your value. So I recommend scripts all day long because you can follow what I exactly what I say and it's helped again, agents across the country to get more for sale by owners listings. But this is a great way to start out, especially if you're trying to save some money. I mean, it's a, it's a tough business. The dropout rate's 88%. I believe 100% of that is because those 88% don't prospect, but, um, it's a great way to start out. We know the fees are high, so just being a realtor is expensive in itself. For sale by owners are completely free. You get one for sale by owner listing to sell, I highly recommend investing in yourself, investing that money back into yourself, getting one of those lead sources that we talked about, Vulcan 7, Red X Mojo. Um, but Vulcan 7, or sorry, for sale by owners are a great way, hand dialing from Zillow. That's exactly what I do every single morning. My prospecting blocks from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. 
It's what I do every single morning and I call through all the for sale by owners. Uh, it's an absolute game changer, really no disadvantages to them. There's no risk in calling these leads. Worst case scenario, they don't list with you. Either way, you didn't have the opportunity if you didn't call. So highly recommend just talking to them, getting more comfortable with communicating to a for sale by owner, and it'll build the skills for all the other lead sources. Because in my opinion, these are one of the harder lead sources to call. Now, last but not least, the fifth lead source that I highly recommend you start focusing on, especially if you're a new agent, that's something I failed to do, and I'm just now starting to get business from it, is past clients. I failed to realize how beneficial this would be. And now two years into the business, I'm just now starting to reach back out to them and I already have listings coming from them. Just in this month of just now prospecting to them. So get a strategy in place. Past clients are, the advantage to a past client is they've already worked with you. They know, like, and trust you. you you've gotten rid of all the prospecting, all the cold calling with them because they already know, like, and trust you. And if you've done a good job with them, you've built a relationship with them, you're gonna get their business. Now, what people fail to realize, especially myself, I, you know, I'm not anything special, I failed to realize this until just recently, is you don't only get their listing. I mean, what I thought is past clients, all right, great, so seven years from now when they decide to move again, I get it. It's not the case at all. The advantage of a past client keeping the relationship strong, having a strategy in place, uh, to, to follow up with them and, and keep your name top of mind for them. The advantage to that is not only do you get their house in seven years, which isn't that exciting to me personally, uh, because it's a long time for a commission, you get all their sphere. So now you're not only working your sphere, you're working all your past clients sphere. So their friends or family, anybody that they know that might be interested in selling, who do you think they're going to tell to call? They're going to have you, they're going to have them call you or you to call them that's the benefit people know about two to three people a year that are going to be open to selling or who actually make a move so if each one of your past clients you target with that frame of mind trying to get their sphere to list with you it's a complete game changer and so what i've just been recently doing uh, and it's again like i said already getting me business let's talk about the strategies to have in place though what i do i have a crm system i use kv core any crm system it doesn't matter you can utilize uh, you you want to put a separate tag, and I call it. I got this from Brandon Mulrennan, a great YouTuber. Highly recommend you uh, watch his channel. Very intelligent realtor. Uh, he calls them top 100. So I'm not gonna lie, I stole that. I, I put the top 100 tag uh, for my past clients if I want to work with them again, or if it's a, a high value uh, listing that I might want a listing opportunity that I want to have in the future. I'll put top 100 in the tag. Now I have my whole database uh, organized by who's my top 100, who can I quickly reach out to? So now you can do email marketing campaigns, just quick text, you know, hey, how's your day? I just drove past your house, looks great, I hope you're doing well. Something super simple to keep it top of mind that you are a realtor and you're not only in it for the commission, but you wanna build a relationship with them. That is what this business is about, is building relationships with everybody that you meet. Um, this is the best way to keep yourself top of mind. It's easy. There's no anxiety. There's no cold calling fear. Uh, none of that. It's just simply keeping in touch with them and keeping them top of mind. Even as simple as friend requesting them on Facebook and liking and commenting on their posts it can be that simple. Just that they know that you sell real estate forever. I mean, that's, that's all it's got to be. And you will get their sphere. And I promise you, you'll get business right away. And something I failed to realize early on in my career. And it's probably lost me hundreds of thousands of dollars already. Uh, so don't make the same mistake I do, reach out to your past clients. So that was the top five listing lead sources that I prospect every single day to. So from 8 a.m. to 8.30, I'm calling fresh expireds. Right after that, I'm calling for rent by owners. Right after that, for sale by owners. And right after that, I'm calling old expireds. And then throughout the day I call, I text my past clients, I call them, uh, everything like that. So I have a strategy in place. All you really need to become a top listing agent, prospect an hour or two a day, five, six days a week. And I promise you, I don't care what your skill level is, you will get business. It's absolutely vital to have a lead generation source funneling listing leads to your business. That's what our job is. Our job is to lead generate. 
Everybody thinks their job's to show homes and this and that. It's like 15% of your job, if that. Your job is to generate leads. If you don't have leads, you don't have homes to show or sell. So focus on lead generation. It's the most important thing. And this is the way I just time block two hours a day out of my day to lead generate. If you do that, I promise you will be a top listing agent. Thanks for watching.